good morning today we are continuing the lesson sports and nutrition so today we will study about the protein protein is important for muscle growth and to repair body tissues protein can also be used by the body for energy but only after carbohydrate stores have been used up so it means protein is the body building food along with it also gives energy in case of the carbohydrate stores have been used up only strength training and exercise will change muscles athletes even bodybuilders need only a little bit of extra protein to support muscles growth protein are made up of amino acids proteins are made up of building blocks called amino acids there are about 20 different amino acids that link together in different combinations our body uses them to make new proteins such as muscles and bones and other compounds such as enzymes and hormones it can also use them as an energy source some amino acids can be made by our body because there are 20 amino acids which are required for our body so some amino acids can be made by our body there are 11 of these and they are known as non essential amino acids there are nine amino acids that our body can make cannot make so nine amino acids which are not made by our body and they are known as essential amino acids we need to include enough of these in our diet so that our body can function properly so nine are the essential amino acids and 11 are non-essential amino acids so we will see here essential and non-essential proteins So essential proteins and non-essential protein. Essential protein is made by nine essential amino acids, which is not produced in our body and must be taken from food. On other hand, non-essential protein is made by eleven non essential amino acids which are produced in our body itself nutritional value nutritional value of protein
so we can see the nutritional value of protein is measured by the quantity of essential amino acids it contain second is different food contain different amount of essential amino acids generally amino acid uh, animal products such as chicken meat office and dairy products have all of the essential amino acids and are known as complete protein or ideal or high quality protein soya products kunena and the seed of the leafy green called amran also have all of the essential amino acids plant protein beans lentils nuts and whole grains usually lack at least one of the essential amino acids and are considered incomplete protein people following a strict vegetarian diet need to choose a variety of protein sources from a combination of plant food every day to make sure that they get and adequate mix of essential amino acids if you follow a vegetarian diet as long as we eat a variety of foods we can usually get a protein we need for example a meal containing cereals and legumes such as baked beans on toast provide all the essential acids found in the typical meat dish protein food some food sources are dietary protein include lean meats beef lamb veal pork kangaroo poultry like chicken turkey duck emu goji and bush birds fish and seafood this is also rich in protein essential amino acids also fish prawn crab lobster nugget oyster scallops and clam eggs these are also rich in protein dairy products which are commonly used by the people milk yogurt especially greek yogurt cheese especially cottage cheese means that is the rural areas the it is uh, used yogurt and cheese because market we get many synthetic yogurt and synthetic cheese nuts again another very important source for uh, for the protein including nut paste and seeds almond pine nuts walnuts macadamias hazelnuts cashew nuts cashews pumpkin seeds and sesame seeds sunflower seeds at least some of the sources we must remember from here legume and beans all beans lentils chickpeas split peas and tofu so
it's mainly what we know then lentils dairy products animal products seafood fish and nuts and seeds which are very rich in protein now we come to protein deficiency protein deficiency diseases are commonly marasmus and quasi workers in which the shrinkage of muscles tissues oedema build up fluid what is oedema this in this the fluid is build up particularly in the feet and ankles anemia this is commonly caused by the deficiency of iron but blood cells also contain certain amount of protein so that the protein is made by the uh, these amino acids so anemia may be caused in which blood cells will be reduced decreased in, in our blood slow or poor growth in children skin hair and nails problem loss of muscle mass these the deficiency may be caused by the protein the common the most common disease or the deficiency disease is marasmus so this we should know also here what is the marasmus so marasmus is a disease caused by a severe deficiency of protein and calories that affect infant and very young children often resulting in weight loss and dehydration marasmus can develop into starvation and cause fertility caused by a lack of essential nutrients people with marasmus appear bony with little muscle tissues quasiur quasi worker is a disease caused by a severe deficiency of the protein in diet that contain calories mostly from carbohydrates such as yam rice and bananas it usually affect older children people with quasi worker appears puffy in the abdomen area from retention of fluid according to the university of maryland medical center common symptoms of both marasmus and quasi worker includes fatigue irritability diarrhea stunt growth and impairment of cognition and mental health so both the deficiency diseases caused by the protein quasi worker and marasmus protein is body building food source of protein the main food that contain protein are meat and poultry fish egg nuts and seeds and legumes and beans group legumes group means that is pulses group milk yogurt cheese butter natural peanut nuts and seeds and freshly cut vegetables freshly cut vegetables and sprouts 
these are very common source of protein. Now we will go to the minerals.